Hi and welcome to a new video. Uh, this video is a continuation of the series of uh, videos that I'm actually doing with uh, the uh, GT AXE 11000 and also the GT AX 11000. So around here as you can see the both the uh, routers are, are near identical except for the GT AXE 11000 uh, does have a redesigned shell and the antennas as well are uh, non-removable and they've sort of, they've basically updated the actual design of it and the LED um, and some of the buttons as well um, most of the hardware is exactly the same as the same as the firmware and software here so they're near enough identical there's only I can see perhaps uh, two uh, differences between them uh, the first one is around they've changed the uh, gaming uh, VPN um, company and also around of course the Wi-Fi settings for the 6 gigahertz frequency uh, the 2 and the 5 are exactly the same so it's near enough identical as you can see in the software here for these routers as I said it's just those two differences I'll go through today uh, to keep it short if you do want to know about more information on the GTAXE 11000 and the options from the others here you can see my previous videos that I'll link in the top right hand corner because um, that shows exactly the same information um, and I don't want to uh, bore you by repeating you again so we just go over the two main differences that we have here so as I said on here we on the game acceleration now you can see here we still have the uh, quality of service the game accelerator and your internet speed test as we scroll down you'll be able to see there the different levels as we see here and you can enable the boost well, that's the game boost here so basically it activates the gaming mode using the adaptive uh, quality of service so what it normally does it will take you to uh, this option up here um, for you to switch it on so basically it can use this version here called the adaptive uh, so it basically it will adapt and it will see that you're actually playing a game um, and then it will make that uh, traffic uh, prioritize that over anything else like people watching a Netflix or playing a game or anything like that so as we said there is only one uh, difference here so you can see here the outfox so this is an optimized gaming network that improves the performance by uh, directing your traffic to provide a faster more stable path to your game server so basically instead of hopping over to three different places sometimes they have their own dedicated servers but most of the time they will try and give you the most direct path um, it is kind of like a, a VPN um, so basically it will tunnel you into uh, a direct path of uh, where the server is and they'll use also uh, ping rates and things like that to identify which one is the closest to you as it says here you do get an exclusive uh, 90 day trial so um, around here so again um, it's a bit disappointing as here so you can see they haven't updated it so this is the latest firmware and it's still calling it out Fox so um, as you can see here with the 90 day free trial you can download the application to your PC but if you do see it here I think this been taken over now so um, as you can see here the last time um, they actually did anything was back in July 2021 and now when you actually go to the company or if you even if you click on here to the uh, outfox uh, website so let's get outfox.com uh, so it's the same here so if you click on this one it will take you straight to this new uh, company that have obviously taken over um, so this is exactly the same thing by the looks of it it's a, a VPN that directs you so as they said there they're saying they they provide the world's fastest VPN network uh, by using your own secure network and hardware. Um, so they're saying that basically that here giving you the lowest ping and the top notch gaming experience. Again, I can't see anything on here about giving you the uh, Asus uh, 90 day uh, trial because it's not even um, come through on a custom URL or link at the top there for Asus customers. So it's disappointing to see that they haven't even uh, updated such a key thing where they actually advertise these routers actually as a gaming router 
um, and they, they can't you know update this and also some of the games as well support could be a bit more up to date as well so I think Asus has dropped the ball somewhat on the uh, gaming part of the uh, router so again if you do go here um, the difference is it will take you to this uh, new company now where you have to sign up um, to get it and you've got plans here so of course I'm in the UK you can see now it's a uh, £11 if you pay per month or if you pay for a year package it's £6.25. I haven't actually used this service myself so I don't know um, how they're actually um, performance wise if it makes any improvement at all. They do state a lot of things here about less lag and defeating throttling um, but again I'm taking these things here with a pinch of salt um, where you know it looks like it's just a normal VPN. I don't see anything here in the specifications about where the which games are, are compatible, what game servers they're directing you to. It just seems like a v, normal VPN to me. So just be wary and if they do have a free trial, perhaps give it a try. Um, or I think if they have a 30 day, yes, they have a 30 day money back guarantee. Again, um, it seems to be you know quite a big company. So I would, uh, hopefully they would... Uh, honor the uh, 30 day money back guarantee but again you uh, will probably have to email or phone on uh, multi, uh, perhaps there so i don't think they'll probably make it as easy as possible to get your money back so just be wary of that um on this uh, option here so it's a bit disappointing on especially as this is the uh, uh, newer version of our uh, GTA X 11,000 routers and as we said the uh, next option that has changed as well so everything else as I said is uh, exactly the same as if we go into wireless you can see now that we have uh, on here we can now go to we have a 6 gigahertz band so you can see here so on here, um, the options. So I have been doing some testing with my, uh, as in previous videos with the speed tests and connecting on the six gigahertz frequency, try and get the best speeds. I have identified that most of these settings are uh, left as default. I uh, will give you the, the best, uh, best settings. The only things that I did try and change is um, because I'm actually using this uh, on the six gigahertz frequency, um, uh, on the wireless mode, I just instead of leaving an auto, I uh, for direct speed, uh, I uh, seem to get better results by selecting uh, AX only. Uh, so it was just dedicated to that newer uh, band on there, and then also uh, uh, coming down here and uh, changing on here the uh, beam forming. So taking off universal because I haven't got universal is basically for older devices. Um, we all of these devices are connecting on the six gigahertz frequency are going to be AX and going to be like some of the newest technology out there currently for Wi-Fi 6E. So you don't need to have any compatibility backwards because I'm using this one with all the latest uh, uh, speeds. And you'll probably hopefully in the future when you watch this through your uh, new consoles and things like that will have this. Then um, I found that I can disable that. Um, and get get the better results on there but everything else you can leave as default um, and um, I got good results for speed and connections and everything else with it so as I said this has been a really quick video of going through the actual um, new GTA XE 11,000 as I said uh, do watch the previous video if you want to go through all the other options because they're exactly the same as the previous router um, on if you've got this router uh, so you can watch that previous video Okay, so again, if you have any uh, questions, leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. I uh, hope you found this a little bit useful um, on the differences and in this series of videos that I'm doing. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.